All right, try it again. What you cooking tonight, Chef Kevin? I've eaten so much at work, I just wanted to have dessert right now. So, what kind of dessert you make, huh? Well, I have some rum, some vanilla bean ice cream, some brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter. I have some banana liqueur. What would you imagine you could do with those ingredients? Well, you being the chef, you tell me, Chef Gabba. I think I'm going to do a banana pasta. Oh, it sounds tasty. Sometimes it's okay to have dessert before dinner. Mm, I agree. This is one of those days. Smells good. Smells yummy. This is enough for what two people? Yeah, I think it's enough for two. The core to go with the brown sugar and butter. Can you use too much of that? Can you use too much? Mm -hmm. Um, for since you're cooking the alcohol off, it's well, there's no not alcohol so bad. in the banana liqueur. Oh, hey, let's check. Product of France. 750 milliliters. Oh, there is 25% alcohol in that. So yeah, I guess you could, but cooking the banana off, or... Cooking off the liquor? Okay, cooking the liquor down. Do you have to do there? Is that just for effect? That burns up. No, that burns off the, the alcohol. Uh, the alcohol, yeah. Any suggestions for first timers that want to attempt to do this recipe? It looks like you might singe your eyebrows. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a campfire. I felt bad, but a person has to clean up the kitchen. Look at that. You want to go fishing? Be prepared to touch a worm. Well, that's reduced. So, how do you know when it's reduced enough? When it sauce thickens up? When the sauce thickens, yeah. Can you over reduce? If you over reduce, trust me, you'll know. How will you know? Um, it looks dry. It'll look like... So it cook out all the sauce and just leave the bananas? Yeah, it'll cook out all the sauce and just leave the bananas. It won't be very appetizing. That way you know you've reduced too much. <laughs> exactly. One way to know how much it's reduced, there's a term called nappe, N-A-P-E. Nappe means, I don't know if you can get a good look at that. It's coated, the spoon. When it coats the back of a spoon and you can run your finger through the middle and it doesn't fill in. I'd like it a little bit more nappe than this since it's going over ice cream. Uh -huh. So it'll almost be like the consistency of honey. That's oh, okay. where I'd like it to finish, to get to about the consistency of honey. Okay. It's good for people out there to know. I've never made this, that might be attempting to. Just like a syrup, less water, the bigger the bubbles. Essentially, I'm trying to reduce all that steam is just liquid or H2O that used to be inside the butter and the liquor. That's evaporating from the heat. As it evaporates, right. So our ingredients are banana liqueur, bananas, rum, mm. it's for two people, about three or four spoons of brown sugar, a pinch, and I do literally mean a pinch of kosher salt, or salt, whatever you have. I like kosher salt for whatever reason. Ice cream and butter. 
ice cream of your choice. So you don't have to do vanilla ice cream? You don't have to do vanilla ice cream, but a traditional Yeah. And that's it. Ready to eat.